Hello, hello, it's Tamplet here. Here's an item on number theory. X and N are natural numbers such that 1 plus X plus X squared plus so on and so forth until plus X raised to N is equal to 40. Find all possible ordered pairs X comma N. Credits to the Indonesia Regional Math Olympiad back in 2008 for this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now here, with x and n uh, being natural numbers, we can try to see, um, maybe we have some special cases here. So for example, maybe we want to take uh, the case where x equals 1, because that's going to be one of the obvious solutions. Well, if x equals 1, then this sum is just going to be, uh, the left-hand the left side is just going to be a sum of 1s. And I think it's pretty obvious for us to see that n must be equal to 39. Now, so if x equals 1, n must be equal to 39, and this already get, produces one ordered pair, 1, 39. Right, so setting the trivial case aside, let's try to focus on the other values of x. Let's say x is greater than or equal to 2. Again, we're talking about natural numbers here, so uh, we're going to talk about x greater than or equal to 2, and we can do some bounding here. We can bound the value, uh, the value of n. Now, here I can conclude that n is less than or equal to 4. Now, why n is less than or equal to 4? So let's try to talk about it. Since x is greater than or equal to 2 now, we might want to try to see 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared plus so on and so forth. And if n is greater than or equal to 5, then, well, the left-hand side should be at least uh, this value over here. But this value, if you evaluate this, that's going to be equal to 63. And that's already greater than 40, which is greater than the right-hand side. So, well, n is greater than or equal to 5. That's already impossible since I, this will be the minimum value of the left-hand side, which is already greater than 40. So we, we should have n is less than or equal to 4. So having the bound is now nice because all we have to do is just iterate over all the possible values of n. So starting with n equals 4, so we want to find x such that 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth is equal to 0. All right, we can do some bounding here. By the way, the left-hand side of the equation that's increasing in the interval uh, from 1 to positive infinity. So that's going to be pretty obvious enough. But uh, we can use this fact because uh, we can use this fact to uh, get the solutions to the problem. Anyways, we can do some trial and error over here. Maybe you want to try x equals 2, and that's going to give you, uh, if x equals 2, then that's going to be less than 40. So the left-hand side here, this one over here is actually 31. So that's less than 40 indeed. And then we might want to try the next value of 3. Well, it's kind of obvious that the 3 raised to 4 here, that's, or that's already greater than 40 in itself, because 3 raised to 40, that's 81. So since x equals 2 gives a value less than 40, x greater than x equals 3 gives a value greater than 40, so this equation has a solution in x between 2 and 3. But since x is strictly increasing, well obviously there, are, there will be no other solution, so that yields x not being an integer. So for n equals 4, there isn't really a, sorry, there isn't really an integer n that works in this context. Alright, so let's go to the next possible value of n. We're going to do the same thing, we're going to do trial and error. Well, in this case, well, luckily we would be able to get a value of x that works, and that's going to be x equals 3. You guys can work out the math here. This is indeed equal to 40. And using the fact again that x is increasing in the range 1 to positive infinity, as you can see here, there will be no other solutions in x. So for the case n equals 3, that's going to only give the solution when x equals 3. So get that, this gives us an ordered pair. 3 comma 3 and we're done with this case let's go to the next value of n if n equals 2 we can use the same concept again uh, similar to any the n equals 4 case well 1 plus 5 plus 5 squared that's less than 40 in fact uh, this part is equal to 31 and then 1 plus 6 plus 6 squared that's greater than 40 because the left side here is 43 so again the solution must be some va some value of x between 5 and 6 but that's not going to be an integer so for n equals 2, there will be no solution. And lastly, we're going to take into consideration the case n equals 1. Well, this is pretty simple because you're going to get that 1 plus x equals 40, and that's going to give you the solution x equals 39. So this will give us our third and final ordered pair, 
of 39 comma 1. So all we have to do is just uh, gather all the ordered pairs that we got. So we have three solutions, 1 comma 39, 39 comma 1, and 3 comma 3. And these will be the final answers to the item. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.